a champion, a coach, and a friend. Heck, every Tennessee football player, including me, would have been proud to have been coached by Pat Summit. Stories filled the night of celebration for Pat Summit. Walking 100 miles an hour and then stopping on a dime to sign an autograph for a little girl. Family, players, and friends reminiscing how the steely blue-eyed coach liked her coffee. Loved it with honey and hazelnut cream. Her need for speed. One of her first cars that Pat Summit owned was a 300Z. And how she always found a way to get out of trouble. Of course, the police officer would say, can I get one of those autographed balls? They shared the first time Pat caught their eye. I was sitting at home flipping through the channel. And all of a sudden, I stopped, drawn into an icy blue stare of the one and only. <laughs> I was hypnotized. I remember thinking to myself, even then, I just hope I get good enough to play for this lady. And the moments when Pat's fame wasn't recognized everywhere. Great, you know, you look so familiar to us. And this lady said, don't you work at Ace Hardware? and the faith that grounded her, even as a horrid disease robbed her. And what a valiant, valiant fight she waged against it. And how, in many ways, bringing awareness and attention was her final gift to us and to the world. A sea of orange and white, many who only knew Pat as a fan, but remember her as family. And as the celebrations came to a close, it was music that filled the house that she built. You win a, a thousand and ninety-eight games, eight national championships, and what people talk about in the end is not about how much you won, but how much you did for others. When the shadows of this life have grown, I fly away.